was watching this, you know, we're, we're trying to build to this mysterious ending. And I want to allude to some of this with sound. And there's that train that seems to be ever present throughout the piece. And is at the big finish, that's what reveals her in the little dollhouse. Yes. Um, so the train is recur uh, recurring. It's a recurring in, theme. Um, a image. motif, maybe? Yeah, motif, yeah. And so I think a good place is, you know, I'm going to skim through this. The front half is really nice. But if we go to the, the back half, and let me just slide over here a bit. In the, uh, the dark room the half. The dark, the dark room half. Um, I think I want to add a little bit of a trick here. Let me actually zoom out just a tad. And right here, when she comes through the door, okay, you have this stepping in, okay? Oh, there it is. This is kind of ominous. It is ominous. Um, it's like a creepy silhouette. Yeah, she's, she's, she's coming into her full creepiness. Yes, she is. I want I like to add it. the sound of that train and the whistle really subtly in the background, almost imperceptible. But if you watch it the second time, you might hear it and it will reveal itself as a really clever idea, uh, you know, sliding this in. So I'm going to go ahead and plug, park the playhead here. And we have in our sound effects bin that train. Did you say bin? In our browser, yeah. in our smart keyword, keyword collection. collection. <laughs> um, a train sound A train, effect. yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> and so um, train approaching, I'm going to select it. And I can play this. I have a. You small, already have a preset. I already have selected. I, I knew what I was going to do. Yeah, you I did. knew I was going to beg you for this. <laughs> It's going to be pretty loud coming in, yeah, yeah. but let's go ahead. We'll drag it in as a, a connected clip. Okay. So you're going to drag it and snap it to the playhead? Exactly. And it's going to nice. land right where we want it to be. Perfect. Let it go snap. snap. Pops right there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we have a little more detail to work with. I know it's going to be loud. Let me go ahead and bring the, uh, the volume level down just to start. And this is... You know, it's, it's a high frequency. Yes. And this is something to keep in mind with audio is that the higher the frequency, even if the dB is low, it still kind of punches through. We hear high sounds easier. So you're going to have to make Unless it. Unless you're old. Unless you're old. Uh, but we're not. Right. So let me go ahead and play it. It's almost subtle yeah, enough, it's, but not it, quite. It's like it's almost a little bit too in your face. So I could zoom in and make the tracks higher, but the keyboard shortcut of control minus and plus allows me to make the volume softer or louder by by just one select dB. I was made one dB at a one time, DB. one decibel okay. at a time. Okay, which is uh, not really volume; it's sound pressure. Right. But we hear it as volume. So I'm going to go Control minus minus, and I can hit play. Ooh, Ooh and that's I can, nice. Yeah, and you nice. were doing it as you're playing it. Back. I can do it while I'm playing, so I can hear it. And am I getting too low or too high? Okay. So we get that in. It's very subtle. Might bring it down a little bit, but yeah. just listen. <laughs> So maybe I'll even take it down a little bit, but you get the idea. Yeah. You know, you add those little nuances, those little subtleties. Yeah, I, I think it's a, I think it's a nice addition. Thank you.